68 million years ago, two of the most vicious beasts that have ever lived were locked in a ferocious battle. These male Tyrannosaurus rex are waging war over a female. If you've ever seen two giraffes locking their necks and slapping each other with their heads, or two elephants charging together and goring each other with their tusks, you can imagine a very similar scenario for T-Rex. Combat between two adult male Tyrannosaurus rex uh, was probably one of the most spectacular sights uh, that ever, ever occurred. We find lots of gouge marks on the sides of their faces, and we find tooth marks uh, in the bottoms of their jaws. These animals had enormous bite forces, uh, you know, at least 7,000 pounds or more, uh, more than enough to puncture, you know, through bone. In this case, youth defeats experience. I think when two Tyrannosaurs went at it, uh, they were probably like crocodilians today. Uh, these are animals that show no reserve. Often death results from those combats. The battle is over, and one great beast lies vanquished. The female is still interested in her fallen suitor. As dinner, that is. We have bite mark evidence showing that Tyrannosaurus ate other Tyrannosaurus, so they appear to have been cannibalistic as well. As she begins feeding, our conquering young male sees an opportunity. Without any preamble, he attempts to mount the female. But again, it's not that easy. So our male comes up to the female. She's not quite ready yet. That's often the case. I mean, you know, it's not an issue of the male T-Rex seeing this female and it's running up and starts mating. He may be tired from fighting, but she still expects a mating dance. But what exactly would that look like? In many species, the male has to perform for the female, just like this male bird of paradise does. He's working overtime to gain the affections of his partner. And this male bowerbird is hoping that his bouquet will do the trick. Lizards such as the chameleon go through rituals of, of doing like push-ups, bob, bobbing up and down or their head. They do this routine. This lizard is bobbing to attract a mate. Likewise, our male T-Rex would have used everything he'd got to entice his female. She responds, and her dance lets him know she's very interested. Generally, when a female reptile is uh, receptive to mating, uh, they're going to go into a submissive pose. The female will often lift her head up uh, to expose her throat, which is a, a very vulnerable position for her to be in. And this sends the message to the male that she is uh, basically open to his approach. The female, when she's receptive, is probably going to crouch down and raise her tail and move it off to the side a little bit. She may have actually used her hands to support her chest, keep her from toppling over. Mating for these two may even have become violent. One thing that's interesting to think about is that T-Rex has little tiny arms. So if T-Rex is trying to hold on, if the male T-Rex is trying to hold on during this quick intercourse event, one of the easiest ways to do that is by biting. He's got a huge mouth, very small arms that are kind of worthless. So perhaps the best way to, to keep in contact with the female during this event would be to bite her. Now if a T-Rex, if a male T-Rex bit a female, almost certainly there would be blood drawn during that kind of interaction.
When the moment is right, with a final swift motion, the male's penis enters the female's cloaca. And then, after their intimate moment, what's next? All right, now our two T-Rexes have had this very happy coupling and what happens afterwards? Do they roll over, have a smoke? I don't know, I'd sort of doubt that. I suspect that instead, the male is just gonna leave. Uh, we don't know 100%. I mean, certainly if we look at ostriches, it's the male that tends to guard the eggs. And the female, when she lays them, she, you know, it's like, so long, buddy, you cause this mess, you take care of them. Is this the case with Tyrannosaurus rex? We don't really know. Our female may well be left alone to protect herself and her coming family. But if all goes well, she'll soon hatch a brood of the most dangerous dinosaurs ever to roam the Earth. I think we want to know how dinosaurs had sex in part because it is a piece in this evolutionary tapestry that is life on Earth. And the more we know about other living things, the more we know in some ways about ourselves. And we're just curious. They ruled the Earth for more than 800 times longer than modern humans have existed. So when it comes to sexual behavior and reproduction, they must have been doing something right. And that fascinating and intimate detail of dinosaur life is finally beginning to be understood. It's more than the secret lives of dinosaurs. This is Tyrannosaurus sex.